All right, today we have our triannual drill. We're gonna simulate a plane crash for our FAA requirements. We have our pit behind me there. We're gonna light that off later on today. We have uh, all different co-responders here for the drill. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so this is kind of our pre-meeting. We're meeting up with all of the players. Um, you can see here we have our county um, municipal fire department. We have TSA. We had some army. We had uh, MPD. So we're all kind of going over what's going to happen. Um, the actual crew that's on shift, they're back at the station. They don't know what's going to happen um, as far as what the scenario is. And then these firefighters here, they're basically going to go back and respond regularly from you know, they're going to wait probably five minutes or however however long it would take them normally to respond to the airport from their fire stations. So we're going to make it as realistic as possible. Um, COVID made it a little bit hard this year because um, we couldn't get as much people as we wanted to as far as volunteers. And, um, you know, the ambulances were tied up because of just they're real busy right now as well. Everybody's busy. Um, so but it was good. We got as much people as we did for this event so here's our uh, TSAs and our inspectors so they're looking at different aspects of the drill itself um, they're going to be looking at how fast they responded how the patient treat uh, treatment was you know how everything was coordinated so each person is basically judging um, how the drill goes all together um, as as we are as an airport here at Kahului um, Maui so we're based off of 139 uh, 325 airport emergency plan. This is our FAA uh, guideline that causes us to have this drill. So each holder of a class one airport operating certificate must hold a full scale airport emergency plan exercise at least once every 36 consecutive calendar months. So based off of this is why we have the whole drill. Um, you can see we got a coordinating plan with law enforcement agencies, rescue and firefighter agencies, medical personnel. So you just want to test out the system, you know, let's see if, if we can get together and do this right and train. And if we run into any problems or the, um, all these people that are kind of watching, um, they can tell us like, oh, we're lacking in some areas and then we can fix it. Um, so it starts off with us ordering fuel so we ordered a little under 200 gallons of jet a and um, here we are lighting it off uh, you can see uh, jet a has a high flash point it's about 100 degrees fahrenheit so it's not that easy to get started you can see they're putting the the torch on it here trying to get the fumes up to that 100 degrees so that it can all light off And then, so in this scenario, it's a plane crashed and it broke off into two pieces. So this is the front part of the fuselage. And then the bus is simulated the back part of the fuselage that also has um, passengers in it. And then you can see we put passengers all around the aircraft, kind of like the Asiana, um, just so the drivers are aware of um, victims that are around while they're driving. So there you go got a good fire going we cleared this with the tower beforehand so that the aircraft and everybody around knows um, what we're doing so the tower gives us clearance and then we can light and here comes the response so they're sizing up the scene they're seeing the patients they're trying to make contact what type of aircraft it is uh, how many patients there are and then they're gonna put out this fire. You're gonna protect. They wanna get between the fire and the aircraft. And then you wanna kinda protect anybody that's walking around, any walking wounded, um, any path of egress. So pretty much that's the primary thing. Life safety, so protect the life that is exiting the aircraft, and incident stabilization, and put out the fire. And then property conservation, we wanna try protect it, uh, save as much as the aircraft as we can. Um, you can see he put on foam there, that white, and that fire went out really quickly once you put that foam. Again, separating the aircraft from the fire. So now Rescue 54 is going to go around, check to see 
the back of the aircraft if there's any more spot fires while rescue three which is three thousand gallons of water is cooling the fuselage and making sure everything is out um, we have another rescue vehicle you can see in the back that has all of most of our equipment and our personnel so they're gonna go to the back section of this of this um, fuselage and um, continue working there so now our tanker is on scene this is from our county municipal fire department since we don't have um, hydrants here on the airport they're very far apart um, they come in with water and they refill our trucks so we all work together and then here's on the back part of the fuselage so now they're bringing in hand lines they're gonna go in and start seeing um, what patients we got and prioritizing the patients so you can see they, they've tagged them red this person um, they have different types of scenarios based on top of um, you can see the papers on top of them so it'll say you know wh what condition the patient's in so this patient's unable to walk and it'll be commands so their mental status they're bleeding so we'll give them a red these people the reds need to be sent out as quickly as possible those are the ones that are have the, the most to lose, their life is most, th most threatened, so we wanna get them to the hospital the quickest. And then here is inside the fuselage. We There was victims in here that they had to pull out. And then again, triaging everyone. Right now, you're just doing a quick triage, so you're just looking at the main points, are, um, what is their, their, if they can walk, and they can walk to you. You're gonna gather every all the walking wounded. They're greens. You wanna get them all to one side. And then you look at the yellows. They're kind of like they could they could be in trouble, but as of right now, they're okay. Their vitals are okay. And then the reds are the ones that need to go. And then the blacks are the deceased. And then here's kind of the ending of the drill. They're getting everybody. The fires out. They got all the passengers triaged. Right now, you're doing a secondary triage. So out in the field, you you don't have time to really check everyone really good. You know, you're just kind of doing a quick sweep of everybody. There's a lot of people to take care of. So you want to do a, a quick primary um, search and sweep and get everybody kind of basically categorized. And then once you get here, you can really start treating the, pe the patients. Um, and then this would be where your your medics and your... Um, hospital workers nurses would be in this situation here they would be under this tent but they couldn't come today so the firefighters are doing more of that and then that's pretty much it and after that we do a hot wash where we kind of talk about what we could have done better um, we do this with every call you just want to go over the whole thing as a whole and um, yeah eat lunch kind of hang out for a little bit and um, yeah, wrap it up, put everything away. So that's done every three years. I uh, hope you got something out of this. Please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.